Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Henry. I'm Ian. And we are Bosch. This is Paul Brown yeah. from Bolt. What are we going to be cooking today? A fire roasted cauliflower tikka masala. So this is from your new range. Yeah, so this is our range that is our first foray into dinner time occasion. So mm -hmm. everything from Bolt we've made up to date has been about lunchtime. Yeah. Beginning of January, hitting up dinner time. Amazing. Yeah. So your chefs have spent months and months slaving away preparing the perfect tikka masala and now we're going to recreate it in a Bosch style. Exactly. Let's Ooh. see whether you can match what we do. Ah, it's a challenge. It is a challenge. <laughs> right, so first up we've got three tablespoons of rapeseed oil. Straight after that, all our spices. Ground coriander, garlic powder, black pepper, onion seeds and cumin seeds. Beauty. Perfect. Let's give this a good old whisk to make our marinade. Right, next up, cauliflower. Yeah, we love our cauliflower. It was only a few years ago, no offense to my nana, people used to boil the hell out of it here in the UK. Oh, and it's, it yeah, could my be nana did that too. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, the cauliflower just tastes perfect in this recipe. And we yeah. proudly use wonky veg because we hate food waste at ball and a third of all mm -hmm. food produced is wasted. So um, encourage everybody to eat that wonky veg because it tastes just as good. We'll mix it through so everything is nice and spaced out so it cooks evenly in the oven, which is where it's going now for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. Now it's time to make the dal sauce. And first things first, rapeseed oil. Because we're going to build up the base and the base is going to come from onion and various other aromatics. We're going to sprinkle on some sea salt just to draw some of the excess moisture out of there. Although well, you don't use that much seasoning in your actual boxes, do you? We season it to the level that we think is perfect for taste, but yeah. it also has to be nutritious as well. Every meal from bowl uh, is amber green on, on the salt index. It's easy to add more if you want. So people do say sometimes, hey, I could do with it being seasoned a little bit more, but that's mm. easy to do. You can't reverse out. So we're all about uh, portions of veg. So these dinner boxes uh, all have three portions of veg in them. Yeah. Nothing can be artificial, no artificial preservatives, additives, flavourings. It's 100% made by Mother Nature. 100% made by Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. And bowl, and bowl. That's what we want. Beautiful. <laughs> We're going to have ginger, garlic, coriander stalks, and chilies. Smelling we amazing. We've got ground coriander, because it's going to give it a nice kind of earthy sweetness. We were going to use a whole bunch of spices, but we just used medium curry powder instead. Turmeric. Oh, yeah. Love a bit of turmeric. And you know what? Because it's getting a little dry, we'll pop those roasted red peppers in as well. Out of a jar, real cheap, super flavorful. Crack on with the salsa as well. 400 grams, fresh out of a jar. Really, really nice. It's going to be super tasty. There's a lot of people out there quite anti-prepared food, but when you make it completely naturally, exactly like you're doing now, yeah. you can put in the fridge and it's still going to be good to eat six seven days later yeah so um essentially that is what we do our achilles heel is that we don't put any preservatives in so it does go off after yeah. a week so that's, that's how long we've got to make it up in lincolnshire get it onto the shelves and for you to buy it and then cook it up coconut milk nice and thick it's going to give that creaminess to this curry it's going to be super delicious so next up we're going to go in with a bit of protein beluga lentils you could use poi and they've been pre-cooked already chickpeas from a tin save the water from the chickpea tin and make up some wonderful meringues there is a recipe for that elsewhere link will be below yes <laughs> green beans going in as well haraka bear very very tasty and then actually there's one more ingredient, one naughty ingredient. What is this? I think I know what that is. Uh -huh. We think a little bit of mango would go really, really well, but rather than using a whole mango and only a little bit of it, we just got some mango chutney. A little tablespoon in there is going to give it a bit of sweetness. That's a big tablespoon. Oh, there we you go. You did yeah. actually. Yeah, I love it, I love it. <laughs> and simmer, five minutes and we're good. Sim simmer. Yeah. So we've done a few videos with you now. Yeah. We get asked all the time about plastic and about packaging. You've taken a different angle here. We're trying to, on every single level, reduce down the impact that we're having on the environment. Mm. You saw David Attenborough did his thing at the back end of last year and brought plastic into the consciousness of, of the UK, and that is absolutely amazing. Yeah. This range here is 95% less plastic. So this here is called Bagasse. Uh, so bagasse is made using the offcuts of sugarcane. Wow. Um, the great thing about this packaging as well is it can be put in the oven. Well done, man. You're paving the way. Cheers. This is cheers. important. And it does look gorgeous too. Looking good, huh? So this cauliflower, it's been in the oven. It's had about 20 minutes. It's starting to blacken just a touch. Now what we're going to do here is just put half of this, because we're going to use the rest of our garnish. This is coriander leaves. Mm -hmm. Fold it through gently so we don't break the florets of cauliflower. Look at that. Very good. Here we are. Lovely. So there you have it, our recreation of Bowl's delicious tikka masala. We've got gorgeous turmeric rice with red quinoa, the tikka cauliflower with a gorgeous dal, and a little touch of kale. 
The yeah. sprinkling of pickled red onion brings it all together nicely. So the secret ingredient is a coriander chutney. Really simple, just gives it a lovely bit of uh, pickled spice. Mm -hmm. Should we do the taste off? It's yeah. For the taste test. <laughs> Should we go for yours first? Yeah, okay, is let's it? go, let's go. Come on. Oh, wowza. That's really, really tasty. There's real, real depth of flavour there. And the firm and crunchy and all the flavours of the cauliflower coming out. That's a very Mate, good that's going to make our chefs so happy. Mm. This is Woo. truly wonderful. Yours is definitely yeah. spicier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine, we, we like it spicy. Well, we did say. You should be very proud you've done it's a fantastic delicious. job. Thanks, man. So that mm. is gorgeous. What other flavours have you got coming? We have three other recipes. Tomato lentil linguine, a shepherdless pie. The favourite in the studio bowl at the moment is the sweet potato uh, katsu curry. So so us Brits love our Japanese food. We've um, roasted this sweet potato with miso and harissa, which is a little bit different for sure. Edamame beans, katsu, more pickled veg. We love our pickled veg at bowl. And then some sticky rice with some nigella seeds. So this is available as of today. So this hit the shops, the shelves, Amazing. the fridges today. So that is our recreation of bowls, delicious cauliflower tikka masala, which is delicious. But also the actual box is delicious too. So if you haven't got time to make it and you want to grab one on the go, healthy food is available. So if you like this, then hit subscribe. And let us know what you thought about this dish in the comments below. And that's it for now. Bish, bash, bosh. Yes. <laughs>